Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make some custom geometric transitions. Now, these transitions are using a track mat in the Luma Mat um, variety, and what they are is basically just a white to black transition. But it's done really cool. So I'm going to show you how to create kind of this triangle transition. It's using shape layers. I've got three different varying tones in here. So I've got white and black and gray. And then what this does is as we turn this on, you can see I've got varying different amounts of transparency as it transitions across. So if you're looking for more of a unique kind of transition that you want to build yourself, this is how you do it. So let's start with a new composition. So let's start to build our transition. So I'm going to just go up here to the, my shape layer tool and turn it to polygon tool. And I'm just going to draw a polygon. And then after I draw that, it's going to start with five sides. But I want to come in here and bring it down to three sides. And then now I can start to adjust the way it looks. So let's bring this to, let's just do 100 on the size. And let's add some repeaters to kind of repeat this pattern across. Uh, before I do that, though, I do want to turn this so I can see the transparency behind it and change my fill to white. OK. Now I've got the poly star selected. I'm going to go into add, go down to repeater, and then let's adjust these settings. So I click open the repeater and then the transform repeater. And I want to move the position so they're just touching. And now let's increase the copies and the offset. That's way more copies than I need. See how wide that is? So I can zoom out and I can see how many copies they are. So let's bring those down. OK. Now I want to repeat this again. So I'm going to click on the Polystar 1 again. And let's add another repeater. And what this is going to do is it's going to repeat this repetition I just made. So this line I made, it will repeat that again. So let's go into repeater number two, go into the transform repeater. And for position, let's just set that to zero right now. And let's move it up. And then let's move it over, create kind of this triangle look. And I can go ahead and make more copies and repeat it down. OK, so there's the white part of it. And then what I have to simply do is just take this and duplicate it. So I just copied that polystar, duplicate it. Let's come into the fill, change this to black. And now let's go into the transform, rotate it 180 degrees, and let's change the position. OK, so now after I've got the two sets of triangles, I want to add one more shape layer. Make sure your shape layer is selected. So it's all in one layer and have this be a rectangle. Let's come into the fill and set this to 50% gray. And let's bring this below the rest of them. So now that we have that, we can start to animate these triangles to kind of scale on like that. And what I want to do is I actually want this white to be on top. So Polystar 1 on top, because I want it to start white. And I can come into the outer radius and bring that up. So it starts out white. Click the keyframe.
bring it down, as you can see, they get shrinking, and then you can see the gray shows up. And I want these to be completely gone by about right here. Now I want to start to scale the black. So go into Polystar 2, go into the path, keyframe the outer radius. And we want to scale that up so it's black. So now, let's watch the animation. And it's just kind of this cool, smooth animation from white to black with the gray in between. And because it's all on one layer, I can use this as a track mat. So let's bring in some footage. So here's some footage of the fall. And let's bring in some other footage. Here's a tractor. And then what I'm going to do is I come into, I put the track mat on top. And then the layer that I want to transition, I'm going to select the track mat, luma mat. And then there's the transition. Let's make this big so we can see it. So there you go. So if you're looking for an interesting, more of a geometric type transition, something that you can't get just with the stock transitions, well, try building your own out of shape layers and creating kind of this black and white um, alpha transition. Really fun. I'd like to see what you guys come up with, so if you have any cool transitions you've made, go ahead and post those down in the comments below so that we can all see them. If you have any suggestions or tips or questions of your own, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.